Well, this is just a little experiment suggested by a member on OU. The suggestion was to wrap the tape around the magnet so as we can electrically insulate the magnet from the water and just have the top exposed and see what happens. So I've done that. So we'll switch it on and we'll see what happens. Well, it definitely starts spinning again. No two ways about it. But it actually looks like it's a little different. It looks like there's a whole heap of little tornado sort of things uh, cranking up on the face of the magnet. And not just the one big spin that we got when the tape wasn't wound around the magnet. So I'll let you have a close look at that. Yes, you can see lots of little tornadoes whizzing around on there now. So definitely a worthwhile experiment, this one. So what I'll do now is I'll switch it off and we'll just swap it. I'll just sit this camera down for a minute. And I'll just swap that magnet for one that's not got any insulation tape around it. Like so. Dry my hands. And we'll switch back on. So now you can see it's like just one big whirlpool or vortex happening on top. Whereas when we had the tape around it, there seemed to be lots of little uh, tornado vortexes forming on top of the magnet. And you can see we only get the one this way. So that was a very worthwhile test, indeed. Um, now we're actually going to try something a little different here. Uh, where did I put it? Somewhere here. This magnet I have here, that one just fell over. This one here, this one's actually magnetised radially. So one half of the magnet is what we call the south and the other half is north. It's not magnetised actually where the top is one pole and the bottom is the other. So I was just going to see if we get one bit spinning one way and one bit spinning the other way. Oh, just tuck that a bit close to the tank and suck that one straight off. So I'll swap it over. Those two just stuck together as well. Very powerful magnets these. Now I haven't actually tried this experiment so I thought I would just do it right here and now while I thought of it and uh, let's see what happens now. I don't know where the poles are whether they're front and back or side to side or 45 degree angle or what but let's just turn it on and see what happens. Okay here we go. That's interesting. It's peeling the bubbles off to the side. As you can see clearly there, it's going from one side to the other, so I guess it's going from one pole to the other to climb out and then try and climb straight back in but of course being bubbles they want to float to the top so that there might be proof that it flows out of one pole and straight into the other So 
I might try and just turn that sideways a little bit more so we can get a clearer shot now that I can see which way it's got to go back on. Oh definitely look at that. What I'm going to do now is I'm, uh, I can't swap the polarity over because I won't get any bubbles. I don't think just try anyway. Just going to swap the polarity over. Sorry about the camera work but I'm trying to look at the job and the power supply and everything all at the same time. Okay we'll switch it back on. Well, I can definitely see the uh, a few bubbles flowing there. plate just fell down. But there you can see it's now flowing from the left over to the right. You can almost see that stuff coming out of the magnet and going straight back in the other side. So now we've kind of made a um, horizontal vortex But that's not really spectacular without the bubbles. I'll just swap the polarity back over again. Blow all that crap off from the copper plate that just stuck to it. Yep, definitely a sideways movement there. Definitely uh, coming out of this side and trying to go back into this side, but the course bubbles want to float up. Interesting stuff. All right, uh, that'll be it for now. I'll post this one up and see what we make of this lot.